Hey guys, it's Tracy. Today's video is a budget with me. I am using the Elevated Life Co. budget book. So let's go to the calendar spread for November. So my husband was paid on the 10th and that's gonna cover bills from the 10th to the 23rd. He's paid bi-weekly. And before I go to paycheck number one, let me show you my bills. So in the beginning of the budget book, I use the note page to just write down all the bills. So right now, the bills that we have to pay up are up to the 23rd. So we're gonna try to budget the water bill, the cell phone storage, the electric bill. I think I'm gonna wait on the gas bill and then property taxes and insurance, that's a sinking fund, and then lawn services, that's bi-weekly, and then we're gonna cover car insurance. So let's go to paycheck number one. So we are in November. So paycheck number one, my husband was paid November 10th. That's gonna cover bills from the 10th to the 23rd. In the income section, we have a paycheck. He was paid 1961. Then we have my adult children. They help contribute to the household and I received $250. And then I also received child support. And this is back pay, $340. Let's add that up. So we have 1961. We have 250, 340. The total income is $2,551. And now we're going to go to fixed expenses and we are going to give. So that is our type. And that is $200. Offering. That's 25. Then we have lawn services. Um, I did mention that is bi-weekly, so that is $60. The water bill, 131. Trash, 36. Google storage, that's $2. Electric bill, right now it's zero and car insurance and that is for two vehicles 171 so let's add that up we have 225 60 131 36 two dollars and 171 the total 625 dollars so now we so now we're gonna deduct 625 from the total income. 2551, and we have $1,926 remaining. And instead of going to variable expenses, we're gonna go down to debt and savings. We don't have any debt, we're debt free. And this section I use for savings and investing. So we have to save for our property taxes and home insurance. So every month we save $350. And then every time I get a child support payment, I put that into renovation home, sinking fund. And right now I'm going to send 300. Then we have Christmas, $240. And then this event, these are major events. So my grandson's birthday is next month. I'm gonna add $19 and that's gonna give me a total $200 and I'm just going to help with some expenses for the party. So we have 350, 300, 240 and $19. And that total is 909. 
And let's deduct 909 from the remaining amount, which is 1926. And that's going to give me 1017. Then we go to variable expenses. So I track groceries, household, gas, eating out, medical, and everything else is miscellaneous. We do not budget a specific amount for these categories. We just know that we have 1,017 for two weeks. And of course, we have to track every expense and just make sure we don't go over 1,017. I always have a buffer, a small buffer in my checking account. So in case we go over, and that is paycheck number one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.